right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Mountain. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Effective punch there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Just a slip there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. 
Not there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Unable to connect there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Back and forth we go. Circling to his right. Look at him whip his hips to that kid. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big body kick land. Straight right hand now just misses. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Though? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Under two minutes to go. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Big punch to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Huge strike hands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He blocks the punch. What a tricky head kick. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Twenty seconds left. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Final seconds of round one. Nice body kick right on the elbow. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing but he can't take many more like that. Transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 
Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when the opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Cable inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Circling to his right. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. It's not over, it's not over. Keep moving. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Just over three minutes to go in round two. And they separate. So a much different. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent not out yet. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Back to the feet. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Able to check the high kick. Head kick. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's very tricky. Throws that body kick. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Mountain. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight he did exactly that, congratulations.